Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton and we've got a white on black RX350 to show you. This particular unit is actually one of our dealership demos, so it's got a little bit of mileage on it that I'll show you a little bit further into the video, but it's still being dealer maintained and it's still a new unit that has not been registered to anybody else. So underneath the hood we have a 3.5 liter V6 with 270 horsepower and 248 pounds of torque with a combined fuel economy rating of 10.2 liters per 100 kilometers. This particular package is the Touring package, so it has a couple of extra features like the 12-speaker Lexus Premium Audio, the 19-inch rims that you can see right here. It's got a leather interior, sunroof, uh, three independent seat settings, folding mirrors, lots of fun stuff that we'll go over in a minute here. The mirrors themselves, you can see they have the integrated turn signal light, they're power folding as I just mentioned. They're also uh, heated and they, they save with your seat memory and they're uh, power adjustable as well. So now we're going to go inside the vehicle and take a look through the interior features. So starting off on the door panel, you can see that we have, there's the three uh, seat memory settings. We have the power locks, windows, and uh, power mirror control. And a little flap down here to keep, uh, to keep things in, and there's also space so a water bottle will fit there. So you have the uh, power seat settings with the back support right here power trunk and gas cap release along with the tilt and telescopic steering wheel adjustment. So now I'll get in and turn on some of the lights so we can take a look at what's going on in the vehicle. So on the left hand side of the wheel you have the steering wheel audio controls. Over on the right hand side of the wheel you have the Bluetooth and the voice activated for the for the navigation. Down on the lower right hand side is where you'll find the cruise control settings. So this unit has about 9,000 kilometers on it, you can see there up on the dash. Checking out the main display screen, this is your center hub for everything to do with the RX. It's controlled with the Lexus remote touch system, which is this down here. Your hand goes on it like that, fingers up at the front, and that's what moves the cursor around on the screen. And if I hit the menu button, we can see all of the different... Uh, the things that this screen will show you from the destination, vehicle information, system setup, uh, your phone calibration, climate, media, and radio controls, everything happens right here with this screen. Looking down a little further on the console, we have the uh, power and volume knob, shortcuts to the radio and media screen, the CD player, the track selection, the tuner knob. Down further, you have the climate controls, the dual controls, so the passenger and driver temperature. I'll also point out this button right here is uh, the, the mirror defrost button as well as the rear window defrost. Leather wrap shift knob, you have sport mode with tap shift. Two cup holders right here covered with this nice uh, wood grain trim finish. And then you also have the controls for the heated and cooling seats right here. On the passenger side of the unit you have the lock and glove box, passenger door and window controls as well as the uh, auto dimming rear view mirrors up top you have the dome light and sunroof controls as well as a holder for the sunglasses and the last little thing I'd like to point out with the interiors is the, the light comes on when you open the mirror light goes off. So now let's go to the back of the vehicle we'll check out the power trunk and the uh, cargo space in the unit and the rear seats. So now we're back here at the rear end of the vehicle and the first thing I'll mention is it does have a rear windshield wiper and that's located up here inside the spoiler just to keep it from getting iced over in the winter time. The trunk is a power trunk on this unit. You have a button right here on the remote or you have it inside on the lower left of the driver's side. So press and hold. Opens up. You have a fair amount of room inside this smaller size SUV and the rear seats are a 40-20-40 split so they'll go up or down in any any combination that you want so you have lots of versatility with this unit. A couple of other features of the cargo area, you'll see the interior cargo cover, the cargo net, we have a rear floor mat for the cargo area, and there's a carpet floor mats for the rest of the vehicle are back here right now too. Another little feature is these handles on the sides. When you pull one of those, the corresponding seat will fold down, and that's just to help save you the time of having to run around the unit to, uh, to get those seats to go down if you need the room. When you're all done, you have the button to close right here, or you can always pull it down manually, whatever you want. As for the rear seats themselves, go inside and take a look here. Fold this back up. You can see the center seat armrest right here. It's 
It's got some storage space in the back there, and it's got some cup holders up in the front. It's a single piece rubber floor mat all along in the back seats, and you have the little flaps for a magazine or two on the back of the front seats, and as well as these seats will actually slide forward and backward a couple inches, so you can kind of adjust that if you need the space. And as well, they do recline. If nobody's sitting in it and you pull the recliner, however, then it's going to fall flat forward like, uh, like it just was a couple seconds ago. And then on the door panel, you also have the, the window control and a little water bottle holder as well. So now I'll go turn on the lights and we'll go to the front of the car so you can see what the headlights look like with the new checkmark LED pattern. And we'll talk a little bit about the grill. So now we're over here at the front of the vehicle so you can see that I have the lights turned on now. And that's the new uh, checkmark LED pattern. So it's really, uh, it's, it's a really signature look and it's very noticeable out on the road so it serves a little bit of a safety feature just so people will know you're coming. And then the new Lexus grill is the new front end Lexus spindle grill. There's a new redesign for most of the 2013 model. models have this design and it's kind of got the signature bent in edges is kind of how it goes. So just to quickly recap the unit for you, it's a RX 350 2013 model, 3.5 liter V6, it's got 270 horsepower, 248 pounds of torque, 10.2 liters per 100 kilometers is the average economy it gets between city and highway. It's a touring package, so you got some of the extra stuff like I mentioned earlier with like the premium audio, you get a wallet uh, smart card key. Uh, you get the navigation, the backup camera, leather, power seats, power mirrors, sunroof, all the things you'd expect in a luxury vehicle. And it is a it is one of our demos, and it's it's above 9,000 kilometers on it right now, but it's still a dealer-owned vehicle. hasn't been registered to anybody else, and it's still being dealer-maintained and kept in good shape. So if you have any more questions about the car, or you want to come take a look in person or take it for a test drive, if it's something that interests you, please feel free to give us a call at 466-8300 to make an appointment. Or come on down to 170th Street and 111th Ave. We're right next to the Tim Hortons, really easy to find. And if you're going to continue your online shopping today, if you haven't checked out our website already, please feel free. It's lexusofedmonton.ca. We've got lots of other videos for lots of other vehicles. Most of our inventory is posted online so you can shop around and have a no-hassle experience with that. So thank you very much for your time and for watching this video and sticking with it to the end. My name is Ryan Quick. We'll see you in the next one.